Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this high regal bun with this makeup look, which is like a glowy brown lip sort of concoction, then stay tuned this for this video. Oh my god, I've tried saying this like five times, so let's just keep this one, okay? Just bear with me. So get ready with me, chit chat style video. And it's going to begin right now if you keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will mention this, if you hear some like water in the background, that's just an added effect so that it kind of goes along with the Barbados theme of my chit chat. No, I'm kidding. It's a fountain outside. I always want to film by natural light, but I don't because of the fountain that's outside and I feel like it might be distracting. So please let me know. Can you even really hear it when I'm talking? Because if you can't, then I might film more in natural light. If not, then I'll film like what you saw in the last videos. I just prefer natural light. It's just that that just drives me crazy, that sound. So let me know in the comments. That would be really helpful. And don't feel bad either way. It just helps me film better. So I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB Cream. And it looks like so. And I got this at Target and it's in light medium. And it's basically like their other BB Cream that I always used to use. But... Um, this has a bit of a bronze bow to it and you can actually tell, um, it's not just saying that, so I do like using this, especially, um, because I did get a bit of a tan. See that little glow already? You know me, I would literally, like, paint my face gold and feel good about it, like, yes, look at me, you golden. <laughs> um, anyway, so some of you were asking about the carnival that I went to in Barbados, so basically the season is called Crop Over and it is a summer festival and it dates back to like the colonial times and basically it was the end of harvest or crop what am i trying to say basically when the sugar plantations were done for the season the workers would celebrate by singing dancing stuff like that drinking blah 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 and over a long period of time because this is back in like I'm talking like late 1600s so now it has turned into a festival that includes a lot of music and dancing of course um, so there's actual like competitions for singing um, so like soca and calypso artists <laughs> when you touch your oh my god oh, this, that was funny sorry that was entertaining for me Always make sure that you do whatever you do to your face on your neck because you don't want to look like two different people. Or do you? Um, so yeah, they compete. And, God, it's a lot to explain. But um, basically, the part that you're probably interested in is the parade with the costumes. And that is like kind of like the last part of it. It all works up to then. And it's always the first Monday in August. And... Um, a little info I actually got married the day before the um, parade which is called Kadumen or Grand Kadumen and all my friends and my husband's friends we got costumes and we all did it together um, that was like three years ago so yeah it's kind of like a tradition for me I do it almost every year um, basically there's a bunch of bands that you can choose from and they all have different costumes available and they have different themes. So say the theme was like, okay, one of the themes was Hunger Games for one of the bands. And so each section, which is like each costume, um, related to that theme, right? And then you can go online. It happens, the band launches happen like in May. And you can go online and purchase a costume. And... You purchase it like in May or if you're late, you can do it in June, but it usually sells out. And then when you go to Barbados in end of July, early August, no, well, end of July, you can go and pick up your costume and then everybody meets on the day and then you put on your costume and you start at what they call the stadium and basically everybody kind of lines up there and you pass like judges um 
and they'll have like TV crew and stuff so sometimes they'll end up on TV so this year I actually had family members see me on TV um, and you basically follow down the route which is like a long road long road and I'm now using um, Rimmel London natural bronzer in Sundance it's like my favorite oops it's almost empty um, and there's a big truck or several trucks with each band and on the trucks you have DJs big sound systems loud music sometimes artists on it like this year I was with Beige International and Marshall Montana was on it if you're not familiar he's like the biggest soca artist in the world and he's from um, Trinidad one second my tea my tea always goes okay kettle chill out my tea always goes cold because I forgot about it does anyone else do that <laughs> yeah so anyways that's that um, I showed you a, a peek of my costume in my last video but also, if you follow me on Instagram, at Charmzy, I posted pictures on there as well. Now I'm just using the Anastasia, or Anastasia, um, Dip Brow Pomade and Chocolate. So yeah, I actually met some of you. I don't know if they were more Instagram followers or YouTube. Actually, I think some of them were YouTube. Um, on the road. and. You guys, if you're listening, you came up to me. Let me know in the comments if it was one of you. You guys were all so nice. Everyone was so nice. And actually, um, because I was in a different section from my friends, like we had different costumes, um, during the part where you, you know, you line up in your section, um, and, you know, sorry, one sec. <laughs> um, in the stadium, whatever, I had to leave my friends, and I ended up, like chilling a bit with um, some girls that follow me and they were so nice and beautiful and if you're watching this hey <laughs> so that was cool um, so yeah even though if you're in a different costume from your friends that's cool because that's okay because you're only apart from them briefly just to pass like the judges or whatever in the beginning and then um, you can meet back with your friends and everybody kind of mixes up anyways. It's a lot of fun. Let me know if you've ever done carnival and where you've done it. I have yet to do Trinidad Carnival. Um, it's so expensive. I think that's part of my problem is like the costumes are so beautiful but they're just so expensive to be wearing so little. I know it's two days and I know um, everyone says that the experience alone makes up for how much it is so I don't know. My husband's family is actually, my husband's half Trini, his mom is Trini, so I have been to Trinidad, um, and I love it there. Actually, I love Tobago, to be honest, I really love Tobago. We went for the jazz festival, um, yeah, so I would like to do that one day. Anyways, my trip, oh my god, I hope this video is not like super, super long. Um, I actually checked before I started this to see like what the normal length is for a chit chat video and I saw like 15 minutes up to like 30 minutes but I don't know you guys can like make it bored <laughs> so anyways um, I had not seen my brother in three years before this trip because I hadn't seen him since my wedding he actually lives in England London England um, and he's a teacher there and if you haven't seen a picture of him, maybe I'll just post a picture right now really quick. Everybody always freaks out about my brother because his eyes are really pretty. <laughs> um, this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Swivel Stick and I'm obsessed with this. I think you can actually use it like on your ashy elbows and stuff. I really like it for my lips. Um, so I'm just going over my eyebrows with the Maybelline Brow Drama in Soft Brown. I absolutely love this. I honestly think it's one of the best things to um, enter the drugstore makeup aisle. <laughs> I definitely suggest it to anyone that, you know, 
kind of hates their brows, struggles with the brows a bit. It leaves a little bit of color and it's going to keep your brows in place as well. So anyways, I saw my brother, which is really nice. And of course, my cousins, my parents who live in Canada came, and my aunt. Um, so basically, my whole family was there, except for my husband, who wasn't able to make it because he had to work. Um, so it was like really just like a kind of like a family reunion of sorts. My family is not super big, but we're very, very close. So I guess that's a good thing. Maybe if it's maybe if you have bigger families, it's harder to. Um, be as close to everyone but I mean I can literally count my first cousins on two fingers yeah that's how small we are I'm using the blush from Mac it is new romance and yeah new romance mineral mineral blush wow that was a struggle um, it's kind of like a little rose goldy sort of color I'm obsessed with everything kind of rose gold Gives you almost like a little highlight action as well. I'm not like a big makeup person. I do my best. I'm not like no professional. I kind of learn what I can here and there. I'm kind of like, I actually thought about it. Like, should I do a video that's like makeup for dummies? You know those books that teach you like the basics? And I'll make it kind of like a parody because honestly sometimes... When I'm doing it, I'm just laughing at myself. Especially winged liner. I'm horrible. I am so bad at it. Like really bad. I find it so hard to do like a cat eye. If I get it on one side, the other side, no, no bueno. I have to really concentrate. Although lately I feel like, I think a part of it is like, I kind of want to rush. I want everything to be done fast. I have no patience. Um, but lately what I've been doing is using like an eyeliner pencil to kind of map it out first and then I'll go over with a liquid liner. And that has been helping. So, yeah. I really like that dewy look. Do I look like I'm sweating? I do look like I'm sweating. I actually am a little hot right now. Should I change? Phew. So I actually did change really quick. It's funny because usually when people are like this, they're like, don't worry, I'm wearing a top. But I'm not wearing a top. <laughs> I'm wearing a strapless bra, but you can't really see, so it doesn't really matter. No. Okay, so this look is obviously very simple, not overdoing it. I really want it to be kind of glowy, but light. I'm going to use the color tattoo metal eyeshadow, longest name ever, but basically it's this thing here. Showed it in my favorites video. Also, using a brush or anything, I'm just simply putting it on my eyelid. Ooh, I think those are some Canada geese. Hey, they're speaking to me because I'm Canadian. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of putting it all over my eye. Um, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And I just like to use this on my inner eyes, just when I'm not doing a eye liner on the top because that would literally take me like 20 minutes, um, then I like to just do this at the bottom. Part of the reason I like to do it is because I do have obviously larger eyes and I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they can be a little scary. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So it kind of just gives it like a little relaxed, sultry, romantic look. Now I'm using Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Mascara. I really like this. It was uh, some U YouTuber. Who was it? Oh my gosh. One that I watch. I can't remember now. Oh, Sam. Shoot, I don't know her name. <laughs> you know that... I swear this is how I am. Even with Instagram, I know a lot of people's faces. 
and like I kind of know their name. But then if I have to go search for them, like shoot, what's their name again? Because it's like you're half reading it. Is anyone else like that? And I know people are like that because there are people that call me Charmise. I'm like a Charmzy. And I know some people say Charmzy and I understand obviously it's spelled like that. But Charmzy is just like a nickname for Char Charmaine. Which is my name. <laughs> I struggle just now. Anyway, her name's Sam. Oh man, I forgot the last name. But she's really good at like makeup and stuff. Um, and she's a friend of It's Judy's Time. I really like her as well. Um, so she, she, blah, blah, blah. she suggested this and I love it. I'm going to show you guys a close up. I already have like really long eyelashes. Um, and they're curly. But like, I like to add some mascara just to darken the color a bit. And I like this because it separates them. Because sometimes they can look like spider, like I don't know, like kind of too clunky. What am I trying to say? Chunky looking. Keep in mind, I need to go in with like a um, cotton swab. What do you call those things? Oh my god, I can't think. Just need to clear it up, clean it up a bit. I'll do that in a second because I don't have it with. Okay, so I'm just using this highlighter just right here. Pretty much the high points of my face. Like I just say, I'm just using it and I'm using it everywhere in my nose. Cupid's bow. And that's it. And now I'm just going to go in with some more bronzer just at my hairline. I'm wearing my hair slicked back for this look. So, I mean, it's not like I'm hiding my forehead. What if I can make it a little bit less, you know, large? <laughs> I will do so. So I'm just using some bronzer on my hairline. I'm actually going to use a bit on my jawline as well. Go for like a light coral lip, but I realized I did that in a recent video. So I'm going to go for something darker, vampy, like a nice 90s brown sort of color. So I'm going to use the NYX um, lip liner in brown. <laughs> and I'm just going to outline my lips. If you have uneven lips like I do, um, a little trick is just to overline whatever side needs it. Like for example, this is not something I noticed just looking in the mirror. This is something I noticed in pictures. Um, I saw this quote recently that said something like, if we saw ourselves face to face, we may not recognize ourselves because the way we see ourselves in the mirror and in pictures is not necessarily how we may look in person. It's just kind of like maybe partly a perception of what we think we look like. So anyways, I've never noticed certain things and then in pictures I'm like, oh. So what I notice is that my top lip on this side, and I know this because I have a mole right here that makes it easier, um, is not as full as on this side and it becomes more obvious when I wear lipstick. So what I'll try to do is I will line like regularly on this side and I'll go just a little bit outwards uh, or outside my line or even like on you know like the yeah I guess a little bit outside the line on this side just so it's more even I'll go close up so you can see what I'm talking about Okay, and now I'm going to go in with this matte lipstick from NYX, and it's called Maison. It's 
So now I'm going to take just a little touch of the Too Faced Melted Metal Liquefied Metallic Lipstick and I'm just going to put a little bit in the center of the lips. Even though it's really pretty matte, I just love, you know, I love a little, a little bling. Now for the hair, I'm going to put it in a high ponytail. I actually bought two high ponytails that I was going to take on my trip with me to wear um, for carnival, but then they didn't come in time. So now that I have them here and I'm doing this whole like healthy hair journey, I figured they would work well. Um, just to change up my look and do protective styles that are a bit different for me and just I get bored really easily as you know so I'll probably be featuring like different wigs and stuff like that as well but for now I feel like doing a ponytail because I haven't done it in a long time and it's it's easy it's fast and it's a new look um, that I haven't done in a while because a lot of people say they haven't seen my hair back like in a ponytail and it's not that I don't do it, I just don't think I've ever like really posted pictures of it or done it in videos, so I will do so. Um, what I love using in terms of like a gel to slick back my hair, this is by Curls. It's the Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. I used to use the blueberry one, but this one was just a little bit cheaper, so I bought this one instead, the Passion Fruit. Ooh, and I figured I like Passion Fruit. Um, I knew when I took my other one that my cousin was going to try it and then end up like claiming it. Um, I just felt like she was going to love it. So yeah, she used it a lot on the trip. Um, I think I ended up leaving it there so I had to get a new one which is all good. And you can get this at Target. So I'm just using this to slick back my hair into a high ponytail. So I sh guess I should talk a bit more about my trip. So on the trip. This is the first time ever. Oh my gosh, my armpits. <laughs> Sorry guys. This was the first time that like us four cousins, when I say us four, there's my family's really small as I said. So it's my brother and I, <clears throat> my brother's the oldest, then me, and then my two cousins, which is also a boy and a girl. They are my mom's sister's children. And this is the first time that we've ever all gone to a club together because, I mean, we vary in ages and now the baby of the group has just turned 19. Um, not that you have to be 19 to go to clubs in Barbados. <laughs> they go a lot younger. Um, but it was the first time that the four of us had gone out. It was so much fun. Um, we joke that we call ourselves the pajama people because we're not good at staying up late. <laughs> um, my family is like notorious for falling asleep early. Is anyone else good at staying up late? Or I don't know. It's just like we, we talk about it like in depth, like it's serious, like 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 keep saying like. Um, there's nothing sweeter than being in your bed at night, cozy. Like I don't care what you say about like going out. To, like why am I saying like so much? going to the club and enjoying yourself, blah, blah, blah. Nothing sweeter than that feeling of touching your bed, putting your head down on your pillow. <laughs> so we always joke about that. Um, so when we got there to the club, uh, it's like an outdoor type of party. I told them like, we're going straight to the front, right in front of the stage on the sand. And we're dancing from the beginning. You know how when you go to a club or whatever, in the beginning everyone's kind of shy and on the outskirts and no one's dancing in the middle because they feel shy and awkward, like people are going to stare at them. And then as the night goes on, people drink and, you know, get more comfortable, blah, blah. Well, I said because we are pajama people and odds are we're not going to want to stay all night, I said we're going straight to the front and we're dancing from the beginning. <laughs> so we did that and we had a really good time. Really see myself that good. The sun just went down a little bit, so all of a sudden I think I look kind of gray. Um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna put this into a bun. I'm not even doing the neatest job because all of this will truly be covered with this big curly ponytail I'll be adding. I actually don't mind this look. I know it's kind of weird, but I know it's like a really small bun, but I kind of like it. I'm going to show you this ponytail that I bought online. 
by Sensational and it's the Instant Updo. We're going to try and make it look a little bit more updated and cooler, whatever that means. Okay, so I'm thinking I'd rather go for like a really big dramatic bun rather than the ponytail look. And, you know, I don't have a lot of hair or thick hair. Um, so this is going to help me big time. So just going to be like placing it on and using elastics as you would with your normal hair to do like a big high messy bun. And then I'm just going to use a couple. So this video is obviously getting very long and I had to speed this part up. But I have a video showing how I did this look in full detail very soon as well as some other bun styles. So just stay tuned for that. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the whole talk through, get ready with me style videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. That helps me know that you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this one wasn't crazy long. And if it was, I'm sorry. I'm just, this is my first time doing a chatty get ready with me video. Hopefully you'll be around to do the next ones and you don't unsubscribe because I talked your face off. Okay, see you guys. Bye.